Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out a facial peeling pad. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe below to stay updated with future videos. The product I'm using today is made by a Korean brand called Skinnick. It's the Feel So Good Peeling Pad. On the box, it claims to remove dead skin cells, fine dust, and even daily makeup accumulating on the skin. In each box, you get seven pads, and it's recommended that you use these pads two to three times a week. This is what the pad looks like inside. On one side is the exfoliating side, which is the yellow side. The material here is a bit more textured, so it will help to remove and exfoliate the dead skin. On the other side, it's just a smooth white cloth, which helps to apply the product onto your skin. This product contains milk and lactic acid, which are chemical exfoliants. They're called AHAs, alpha hydroxy acids, and they're usually found in foods like milk and fruit. AHAs are great to use on the skin as exfoliants because what the acid does is break up the glue bonds that hold the dead skin cells together, making them easier to be removed. Also, it's a good alternative to physical exfoliation where you have to actually scrub the skin or use things with beads or micro beads in them. AHAs are also good to treat whiteheads, blackheads, dead skin cells, and excess sebum. So with this product, all you have to do is wash your face beforehand and then just apply the white side of the pad first and apply it all over your skin and then use the other side to exfoliate. Now, if you have sensitive skin, it says that you shouldn't scrub any longer than 30 seconds. And I think it's because this product is quite strong. So let's test it out. So I'm just gonna pop the pad onto my fingers like so. And first of all, I'm going to start off with this side, the white side, just to apply the product and start scrubbing away, I guess. So I just have to use circular motions to apply the product. Ooh, gross. Oh my God, is that my dead skin? What is that? <laughs> I did not expect it to go so, oh my God, crazy. You know what it looks like? It looks like when you use an eraser and this is like the residue. Oh my God, at least we know it's working. It smells really fresh. It kind of smells like my laundry detergent actually. It smells kind of like lemony fresh. Okay, I'm just gonna like work it really well into the grooves around my nose because I have blackheads and that's where I'm really oily so it will remove any excess sebum. And my forehead. Oh, look at that. Is it snowing? It's just like dropping everywhere. So I just gotta make sure I really get the product everywhere. I feel like I did a good job of applying the product. I think this actual thing is the product. I, can't, I don't think it's my dead skin. I don't really have that much dead skin, do I? Because that's, that's really dirty. I washed my face this morning too, so can't be right, right? Now I'm going to use this side of the cloth, the yellow side. The material is a little bit different on this side. It's a bit more coarse. It's almost like a little like woven net. This is the side for exfoliation. So let's go in there. It's actually not very rough at all. It's very, very fine, very smooth actually. Whoa, whoa, what is happening? Whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay, I'll just go with that. You know, I think what it's doing is just really removing everything and just clumping it all up. I don't know. That's a lot. If that's dead skin, that's a lot of dead skin. Ow. I could literally see it drop from my forehead. It's literally snowing here. Look at that. Look at all that. Whoa, whoa. Okay, so I think I'm done with this product. It doesn't really feel like anything on my face. It doesn't sting or anything. It kind of looks like it would be really rough on the skin because all this thing suddenly formed, but it's actually quite gentle on the skin. There's no tingly sensation. There's no burn, no nothing. It just kind of feels nice and fresh. And because the pad's quite cool and nice, and it smells like, it smells like my detergent, it smells good. Now all I have to do is wash my face, wash all this gunk off, and see what's underneath. 
I'm back and I've just washed all that residue off my face and all that gunk that all those bally dead skin ugh so gross. My skin does feel a lot smoother however it does feel really dry too which I'm not loving because it just feels really tight and dehydrated especially my cheeks because I am oily around my t-zone only I feel like next time I use this product I'll probably just use it on my t-zone and just leave my cheeks because they're super dry now. It's actually a pretty fun product to use and I really want to try it again on Alfred. So maybe I'll get him in and test it out on him. Alfred is here. He has offered to be the guinea pig. Actually, he didn't offer. I just made him. <laughs> Skin will be lovely after this. You have to put this on. I get to wear this. You got to put it on. <laughs> That's cute. It totally suits you. But your ears lopsided. Are you ready? Get ready for your mind to be blown. I'm just gonna put on this little pad. <laughs> That's so nice? Yeah. I'm just gonna rub it around your face. Ew. Look at all that gunk. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Okay, now I'm gonna turn it over to this side. This is the exfoliation side. Oh. Ew, look at all that gunk on your skin. Now you have to go wash it. Are we done? Yes, we're done. You can go wash your face now. Of course. We are both the back. How was that? Um, it was pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I'd hope that's not my skin. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's actually a lot of residue. And actually when Alfred was washing his face, he got some in his eye. His eye was all red for like about five minutes. Yeah, so if you get get it in your eye, it does sting. It does otherwise, sting. Otherwise, it's fine. Not recommended to use on your eyeball. So in terms of what I'm going to rate this product, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. What about you? Yeah, I think it's 7. 7 out of 10. I wouldn't recommend it if you have extremely dry skin. If you have oily skin and a lot of like excess sebum, a lot of blackheads and whiteheads, I would recommend using this on those areas only. Don't use it on your dry areas. Also, I feel like it is kind of fun to use, but messy. So make sure you just stand over the sink and use it because all the residue will fall onto the sink. I want to give a big thanks to Alfred for joining me in this episode. It's so good to have another face to try products on. Now, in the next episode, I want you guys to vote for what you want to see. I have two products here. Please pass me the first one. This is a BB roller. Let me open it and show you guys a sneak peek. This is what the product looks like and it's a BB cream, but it's in this tube and at the top, it's literally like a paint roller. So you can just roll it over your skin and apply the BB cream. So if you want to see that, please let me know below. I'll also put a poll up so you guys can vote. The other product are these rubber masks. They're really bright and I found them in Sephora. So they're like a sheet mask, but made out of rubber. So if you want to see that, please vote for this. And that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It, featuring Alfred. If you want to stay updated with future videos, please click the subscribe button below and we'll see you next time. Bye.